Hey, YouTube fam, what's going on, guys? It's your girl, Raquel, aka Lucky Nurse, and I'm back, y'all, with another video. <sighs> I went back to Ulta and I got my Morphe stuff. I don't know what's going on, y'all, but I do know that this is gonna have to stop because it's time to pay taxes next month, and I can't be dipping in that money. I'm gonna be looking crazy, and I can't be going to jail, you know what I'm saying? So, whew. Okay, y'all, let me tell you, I know somebody will know about these contacts. Have y'all been seeing that little uh, ad on Facebook for these? Girl, that's what made me buy these contacts. Mind you, I just bought two boxes, the big boxes, and two small boxes of color contacts. And I could not, just could not, not get these. You get three pairs for $36, and I got three pairs for $36, and... They're not as comfortable as my Aqua Fresh, I can tell you that. And I've only had them on for four days, for four days, for four hours. So if you, mm -mm, they cheaper, but they don't feel as comfortable. They look nice. The colors are weird, but I don't know, y'all. I don't know. You know I had to put them on the back porch for a couple of days because of that corona. No, I'm just playing, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? <laughs> what do y'all want to do first? Let's get into this Ulta stuff first, okay? Let me tell y'all how this happened. Let me tell y'all how this happened. I went to only just one Ulta first because I seen this new bronzer palette pop up and I was like, man, I got to get that. I gotta get it. So I went to my local Ulta and I had to go ahead and pick it up. I got the shade uh, in liter. And mind you, this was after I had already placed my Morphe haul. But the stuff that I wanted to get, and y'all can already tell one of the things that I said I wasn't gonna get. We'll talk about that. But anyway, this is the uh, new Morphe bronzer in liter. I think they got like four four different shades and this is what it looks like lord knows i don't need this i'm still trying to work through the fancy beauty uh bronzers but yeah this is what it looks like i was trying to see if i had a brush so we could play in it but i don't have one in here it looks it looks a lot like let me go grab that fancy bronzer y'all okay. Now this is the Morphe New Bronzer in Liter. I can already tell it's a lot darker than the first one. You do get a little mirror there with it. And I don't know if y'all can see that swatch pretty good. That's what it looks like on my hand. Here it is compared to Mocha Mommy. Mine is kind of nasty. Well, Mocha Mommy is a lot redder. Yeah, I can tell that. Mocha Mommy is a lot redder. That's Mocha Mommy. And that's the new Morphe one. They look really similar. And this is Coco Naughty. Fenty Beauty's Coco Naughty. Looks like that. Yeah, it's pretty close. I don't know. I guess it would be in between Coco Naughty. No, Coco Naughty is a lot lighter. That's Coco Naughty right there. That's Mocha Mama. And then that's the new Morphe one. It's not as much red. You can see the red right there in Mocha Mommy. But right here, that's the Morphe one. Let's just put some of this on. I already got on bronzer, but if I'm overdoing it, it's okay. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good shade. Again, I didn't need this. I just saw it. Wanted it and I missed the last one and it never came back in stock, so I ran and picked this one up. Yeah, let me show y'all this shade real quick. I got this Clarence Lip Comfort Intense Oil, and this came to me from Octoly. Uh, this is 02, and I thought this was really neat. I put this in here just so I could show it to y'all because I thought it was neat. This is a real dark plum. And it's a lip oil, but it's got, I don't know how to explain it. Let me wipe my arm off. It's got color, a lot of pigment color. Let me show it to you. That's what it looks like. But it's an oil. Let me, I'm, I'm loving this matte lip, y'all. I got it, I got it. I like, okay. 
All right, I'm gonna go put the on. I had this on yesterday. Oh, they matched pretty good. It's not real greasy. It's just super moisturizing. I don't know, but I like it. I like it. I really do. And this is Clarence Lip Comfort Oil Intense. Intense color, but it's not dry. It's liquid, but it's kind of like an oil with a lot of color. That's just, I don't know. I'm going to have to get a few, another, at least a, a beige, nude looking color like this to see how it is. But I like this so far. I almost forgot to tell y'all about that. Hey, what else I got in this bag? Of course, that first pair of Marquise lashes I bought, I got on the first pair and I knew I was gonna need some more of these. So I just went on and picked them up while they were still on sale. Yeah, I got to understand that. Look how good these lashes look. They just natural looking. So I knew I loved them. And this is the style, again, Marquise by Allure. So I just had to pick up another pair. They are just so natural. And for my eye shape, they are perfect. They, I just love them. If you haven't tried these, y'all should check these out. Why they on sale? You know what I'm saying? Um, the next thing I got, oh, I got this because mine is it's horrible. It's, uh, you know what? I think I'm going through a, a, a bronzer phase or something because, ooh, child, I got so many bronzers. It just, it just don't make sense. But I love these. This is why I repurchased this. This one is in medium dark. And my medium dark, y'all, is done. It's done. And you want to say I actually used something up. I did. I don't use the highlight or the powder as much, but I can't throw it away. Because what if I decide to start using it? And this one I got is in deep dark. And you know that's when I get my blush too deep. Yes, it's nasty. So I had to get a new, nice, fresh, clean one. I like that right here. Not right there, right here. I like the color of that contour. I was in Ulta, and this wasn't my Ulta, if I didn't say. The rest of this stuff came from me going to pick up my new glasses. Okay, now I gotta show y'all my new glasses. We ain't gonna never get through, y'all. Okay. Now, now we can get this out. This is how I ended up. I know you like it. You just went to Ulta. What was you ever doing back? Let me explain. I remember my other coach glasses I showed you. Those glasses were like $2.97, just the glasses, without the lenses or nothing, right? They bowled out. You know how the ears, they just bowled out. And and that wasn't even two weeks' time. I was like, mm-mm, these going back. So I ran my tail right on back to Target. And I picked out these, these uh Ralph Lauren glasses. I was like, okay, and they were cheaper than the, the coach glasses. Oh. And let me tell y'all the story. Y'all see how big this box is. So I wanted me some glasses that would do a transition. But then I wanted them to be hip, right? So y'all can tell me what y'all think about these frames. But I thought I was being hip and, you know, edgy in time. And they transitioned to like a dark brown. And I thought, okay, y'all can see how thick and blind I am. But that's okay. And I feel like they didn't put my poly in there. And I got poly to make them thin. But in bright light, they go to dark brown. And I like them. I like them. So, yeah. Anyway, that's how I end up going to uh, another altar. Because when I came out of the Target, they called me to pick these up. They were ready. I was like, ooh, it's an altar right there. No way, y'all. Let me tell you. I had to walk around in the store and get to looking around. You got to look for sales because it'd be sales. And you right there in the store and commit something. See, like this. I got this LA Girl Pro Artistry Palette. Yeah, I got this palette for, uh, I think it was 9 No, 11 I think it was 11 95 It was, let me see if the receipt in here. It was on sale. Okay, I ain't gonna be rattling this bag. I'm already rattling it, huh? And I, I can't see it. If I run into it, I think it was normally $15, but I got it for $9.95 or $10.95, something like that. But I don't have any of these. Look at those colors. That is beautiful. Beautiful. 
Y'all see that? Yes. And when I saw it in the store, I was like, mm-hmm, baby. Look at that big old mirror. Mm-hmm. You coming home with me. Look at that. I'm going to bring it on in so y'all can see the true love and luxury. Luxury. Okay, I made that word up. I made that word. Y'all like my nails? I got a video coming on these nails. I got some new polish and I want to give my nails a break from that glue. So, yeah, I'm going to let y'all see that polish. But yeah, anyway, let me quit talking so much because I'm talking too much. And look at here, y'all. I got an It Cosmetics brush. Of course, it was in the sale section. Of course. It was on sale for $33. The normal price is $48, but this was on sale for $33. And I just had to have it. Look at all these blushes, I mean, bronzers that I have. And this is the Blurring Corrector Brush, okay? I didn't see that. I wonder why my thing cut. I guess because it's on sale, but I figured it would help me keep my bronzers right where I want them, right there. Because I got a habit of bringing them down here, look here, I just want them right there. So I had to get this brush, and it's super soft. The handle is like that um, NARS packaging. So yeah, I'm really happy that I grabbed that, and I got to get it on sale. So yeah, few of them. I need to stop buying brushes. I'm like brush overload right now. Okay, because I bought another brush. Did y'all know Real Techniques came out with some brushes? <laughs> that kind of darn girl. The Real Techniques, they came out with a set, a new line of brushes. This is the Real Techniques 2020. Well, what does it say? 220? And this is, what brush is this? And I only got one, I only got one. Uh, light layer complexion. This is a complexion brush. And I know it's quite a few brushes in that set. I did good. I only got one. And Real Techniques is a brush set, oops, that I really like. So it was hard for me just to get one. That's not to say I won't get go back and get a few more, but I've been loving putting my foundation on with a brush and then blending it in with a sponge to just get a smooth canvas. So yeah, and again, I do love Real Technique brushes. So I think this will do good. It's nice, not too firm. And I only got one. I wanted the powder brush, but I'm not going back. I'm done with makeup for the month of March. I'm not buying anymore. If it comes, it's coming in a box. Real, real, real. The thing I got in here, guys, is another LA Girl palette. And this one was on sale for $8.95. I haven't seen these. Have y'all seen these? This is the Get Feverish eyeshadow palette. And I just got these uh, Thursday, so they should still be on sale. And let me show y'all, this was a really pretty, nice, nude looking palette. This is what the front looks like. And this is a be perfect for everyday, everyday look. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's got your shimmers, your highlights. That's pretty. And it's $8.95. You can't beat that. I can't wait to play in these. Inspiring Beauty. LA Girl is coming on, y'all. Coming on. Remember the only place I used to ever see LA Girl, y'all, was like in a Dollar Journal, or Family Dollar, or something like that? They rocking us. So I can't wait to play in these palettes. They new to me. I'm not sure how long they've been out, but it's the first time I've seen them. And y'all know. I found y'all, look at this. A little Wet n Wild lipstick. Y'all know who they looking just like, right? Who the, I ain't gonna say no name. I'm just gonna show y'all, you know. I think who they may have taken inspiration with, but I'm just guessing. I ain't, you know, I'm just guessing that it might have came from this, but they, I don't know. Okay, let me just show you. I only got one. Let me show you the shade that I got. This is, um, oh, we Lord. Y'all, I was on the bottom. This is Mob out of here. Let me show y'all my supervision. Look at here. How do I do it? How do I show y'all? See how that supervision make this so big? Girl, if you need some rest, can you better download this app? I'm just saying, I ain't getting paid. I'm just saying this app is something else. I don't know who the owner of this app is, but it's good. It's good. Anyway, the shade I have is Mob out of here. 
mouth out of here. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I mean, really? With the little lips by that company that I'm not gonna say who I think it is, but you know, I'm smart. Just watch this right here. Oh, that's cute. That is a really cute color. Look at that. Okay, it's not too pink. All right, I only bought one lipstick because y'all, I have so many lipsticks, lip glosses. I try not to do that no more. But I did get one more of the NYX new butter glosses. I ain't had no pink. I did not have a pink. I got the browns, the nudes, and these the new ones, y'all. So I just got one. I just got one. And this shade is in Summer Fruit. I don't know. I got spring fever. I got spring fever. Oh, let me let y'all see what it looks like up close. And I'll swatch it. Oh, now that's the pink I was looking for. Y'all know that pink I got? Vanilla something. This is going to be a clear, glossy, see-through pink. Come on. That's what that looks like. And this is what it looks like on the one. That's just pretty. That's pretty. I had to get this. I only got one. I only got one. And then, guys, I also picked up two of the Milani Cheap Kisses. I hadn't seen these and I was just went to the aisle to the little area to get my new uh to give me another box of those lashes before the sale went off. Found Milani. And y'all know what I was really looking for, right? I found it. I found it. I was on my way to H E B girl. Somebody, one of my YouTube friends had suggested I go to H E B, y'all. I found it at this uh altar that I was in. It's way heck downtown. I guess where it was, they they have it. So I got it, and I didn't know what shade. I picked up 520, but yes, I got the Screen Queen Foundation. I hope it's worth me chasing down, but at least I get to try it. Now back to these liquid blushes. I tried the um, NARS liquid blush. But the shade I got is real orange. I may have used this twice, and that thing was expensive. So these weren't as expensive. So I got to try them. I have shade 150. Then this says warm, no, wine glow. You know what? I don't have on any blush. I can't put on both of these blushes, y'all. I'm gonna just put it on my hand. Oh, that's pretty. That's wine glow. Y'all see that? It's right there. I got to put this on. I ain't got no brush. That is pretty. That is really pretty. Y'all see that? That is pretty. And that's blush. Let me put on some more. Oh, that's pretty. And I don't even hardly do brown brushes. It got a little glow in it. And it's not moving my makeup. I'm glad I did get these. I was like, I'm gonna get these because ain't nobody talking about these. I'm gonna get these just just in case somebody know about them. And I just didn't find out that they good. So I bit a duck and try this. <laughs> but I like it. And the other shade I got here is uh, Berry Smooches. That is pretty. Can y'all see that? It's still glowing. Ooh, okay, let me check out this berry smooches. And this feels, it's not as liquidy, liquid tea as the NARS blushes. Put this over here. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna be wrong. Y'all know I'm gonna be wrong. Look at that. That, that is pretty. Berry, what did I say? Berry smooches. I gotta try the red one. You know you wanna see the red one too. Y'all, I'm sorry about this finger, but you know, you ain't supposed to use the dog finger. This finger here for nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna cross them like that. How about that? I also, while I was in that Milani section area, I saw this Spice Rose, Rose Powder Blush. Now, I got a couple of these. And y'all, they just not my color. <laughs> but I got the orange one I do like, but this was a new one. Uh, they had a couple of them, but they were like peachy pinks. But this was like 
tight up my alley. Look how pretty and creamy that is. Girl, what you talking about? Look how creamy that is. That is so creamy. It just look creamy. It might be dry as I'll get out, but that looks deliciously creamy. But yeah, let me put it right here. Oh, it is creamy. Look at there. That look like a blush in a hybrid. It's got to be. It's got to be. That is a blush and a bronzer. Or a blush and a highlight combo. That's what it is. You see that? That is pretty. Okay, okay, I'm gonna talk about this. Again, this is um, Spiced Rose by Milani. Let me hurry up, yeah. I'm almost done. I got me a set of, um, I didn't need, again, I don't need none of this stuff, again. But Ulta Beauty had some um, tweezers, and I thought, I don't need no tweezers. But I kept looking at it, the mirror right here, right where I store my tweezers at. I can be looking in the mirror and doing my eyes and that will help me keep up. I'm always looking for my tweezers. So I had to get that. That was just, it was too neat, too cute not to get. Yeah, I already used it today. And the last thing I got at Ulta, y'all. Again, these came out after I made my Morphe online order. So yeah. I got the Mattifying Continuous Mist, and I got the Luminous Dewy Setting Spray. I really wanted these, and I had to get them. I was glad I got them this morning, because I ended up watching one of Brandy Gibbs' videos, and she had did a wear test. I'm like, okay. She didn't say nothing bad, so I can't wait to do my haul today, so y'all can let me know. I mean, so um, I know that they are good. I'm chill. I ain't be like, I should have took them back. That ain't no good. Didn't need to set my face. I just want to spray it. Nothing. Nothing. And this is probably exactly how I'll use it. Exactly. That's exactly how I use it. I use the luminous one. And then I put the matte one on top so I don't be sucked up looking like that. So yeah, but let me tell y'all why I felt some kind of way about getting these because I got my, my Morphe order Thursday. See, I, I won't order from Morphe again. It's nothing about, let's just say Morphe. It's just I'm an instant gratification type of person. And it almost took two weeks. And I don't like that. If shipping should not take that long, have me buying stuff that I could have already had, okay? But Morphe had a sale. I don't know what the sale, 50% off, and it was a certain section that was 50% off. So, one thing that wasn't on sale was this Jaclyn Hill palette. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to get it, y'all. I know I wasn't. But it's the one prerogative to change your mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all. We do it all the time. You don't believe me? Ask that right. I'm just saying. <laughs> but for real, I had to get this palette. I had to. I said I wasn't going to get it. I kept eyeballing it and I got the other one. Maybe if I didn't have the other one, it wouldn't be hurting my feelings at all. But I had to get it. And I'm so happy I got it. And I had to get it from Morphe because it seems like, I don't know. They sent it out two or three different products. So I seen, it seen, say, see, I don't know. It put me in the mind of the tragic incident with Dominique Cosmetic and my lemonade palette. Some people were good, some people were bad. So I said, if I go straight to Morphe, I got a good chance at just getting me a good palette. I know y'all done seen it everywhere. And I use this palette today. I use, and you can tell, I use this dark purple right here to darken up the outsides. I use this really light purple all over, and I put this pink right here, and these shadows perform so good. I was like, yes, girl, yes, yes. I didn't mess up. I got the right palette. I'm not had mad, but I like Morphe palettes. They just have so much stuff going on in their life, but I ain't, they life ain't my business. As long as they got my makeup coming to me right, I'm good. I don't care about, you know, you know. It's a company. I don't care about their struggles. You know, y'all gonna be looking at me two, three kind of sideways. I don't care. Look at me how you want to. 
I got this Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist and Starberry Scent. Now, I don't know what the difference between this is and this uh, continuous spray. I don't know if it's the same thing. I think it's the same thing in a different bottle. That's just my personal belief. That's what I I believe. You can't change my mind. I believe they just got his name on it. Stamp pick. And I don't care about that. only thing I care about is you got two for 22. You see what I'm saying? That's something I care about. These were $16 a piece. You see what I'm saying? These were two for 22. I don't care that it's pink because I'm going on there really just to get the black one. For two for 22. So it's pink. It's pretty. It's pink. I don't care what's on it. It was two for 22. And I know it's the same thing. I don't care. Okay. I said that a lot of times, huh? I'm pretty sure it's the same thing with a fake berry smell. Because it's not like an incense, one of them number 6, 8, and 12 sweet cherry incense. Nope. It's not. It smells like an artificial cherry, but it feels just like these. And the spray, kind of fine, like the original one. I'm pretty sure. I'm convinced that these and the black bottle is the same thing. But I ran out of my black bottle. Again, y'all stick, stay focused. Okay, look at the strawberries. You can look at the name. I don't care about that. They two for 22. Okay, y'all yeah, got my point. See, I know we can see eye to eye on that right there. We got this together. We right here, we, we right here, right? Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, y'all, I did go ahead and get, ooh, a Morphe um, foundation. I think that's way too dark. Man, I think these are $9 when I got my order. Oh, the box is dark, but look at the color. I picked mine up in F480. I have never not used these, never not. Yes, I said that, but I had to get it because I wanted to try it. I think, who was out? Brandy Geeks. I was watching Brandy Geeks. I totally forgot about this foundation after I watched Jack Anna video and she said it was horrible. And then I saw Brandy Geeks. Um, try it and I just like the way it looked on her skin. I don't remember what she said about it But uh, yeah, oh, I got the girl y'all hush on my bottom pick the good color online Anything not too red not real real dark. So People say it's too matte. I can't see nothing on my face being too matte. So I'm gonna put it together us so get ready with me and I try not to you know put too much no red at all on we just gonna see what they look like by itself. <laughs> okay. I also got a, a Morphe gel liner and stargazer hmm. this has see I started not to get this but it was on sale for four dollars and I didn't want to get it because let me tell you why it says the name of it is Stargazer. And when I look at the pictures, it had like right here, not the picture, but yeah, the picture that was online. You see those little glittery specks? That's what almost talked me out of getting it, but I don't see them so much when I look in here. Let's see, I want to see what those little specks. Oh, girl, no, look at her. You can't even see the little shimmery specks in there. So I'm happy I got her. Yes, we're gonna do us a get ready with us. <laughs> yeah, I am so blessed and happy today. Not only because he woke me up, because I woke up in my right mind and I feel so good. I hope ain't nobody offended. Okay, y'all, let's keep it moving. This uh 39 L lights palette, hit the lights palette, was on sale for $21. Uh, $21. So I had to get it. And a lot of people don't like these big bulky color palettes, but girl, child, bye. For $21, please hand me that. Don't let me miss it. Look at those colors. Can y'all see those shades? And again, Morphe palettes are good. You know, if I had a winning head, I'm gonna tell you, uh, um, the new Pat McGrath uh, palette that came out, that's 100. And what, 21, 29? I didn't get it. I will eyeball it, but see, this was my explanation. I could spend this much money and get this whole box of stuff, and these shadows perform just as well. I have what? 
six, six Pat McGrath palette, maybe seven that I don't ever pick up. I, I'm not mad at it. Twenty one dollars again, like I said, and these shadows do perform. So twenty one dollars, y'all. I'm just saying. I think this was this in collaboration with somebody. Okay, this was the palette that didn't sell worth a crap because they said it was incohesive. It was in it was in collaboration with four different people. Now see, I don't like any palettes with this kind of glitter. Ooh, it's soft. I don't know. Let me swatch that. Nah, see, I don't like them kind of palettes. That's what you probably might want to put on your deck necklace J decollete decollete decollete. Yeah, that work. You might want to put it there. But not on my eyes because it's straight glitter. I, I just miss over that. Again, I said $21. Did y'all hear me? $21. This was $6. It was $6. That's, I'm telling you, it was a sale. And I was on that sale. Did you hear me? This is the So Iconic. Look like the 9 Eye So Iconic palette. What it looks like on the back. And I forgot I got this, because I probably wouldn't have got that LA Girl palette if I had remembered this. But sales don't, you know, when they come back, it's different stuff. And something you see might not even be there. So yeah, this is what this looks like. And it's just a super neutral. Yeah, I would have got this. I'm glad I did, because it doesn't look a, nothing like that LA Girl's palette. So yeah, I like this. Can y'all see these colors for six dollars? Mm -hmm. Come on home tomorrow, and it has a huge mirror sitting there too. Yeah, okay, we only got two more things, y'all. This video is so long, and I'm sorry if you're still here. I thank you, I appreciate you, but this is another thing I'm not buying anymore of because I have so many brushes now. I could paint a house, but again, it was a sale. So I had to get this. I think these were twelve dollars for a whole brush set. This is the Complexion Crew by Morphe. Don't quote me on that because I don't remember how much it was, but I know it was on sale. But look at that little brush bag. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. And I hope the brushes are as cheap as the bag. And I like a lot of Morphe brushes, but let me tell y'all one true thing I've noticed. The brushes that I got in a set, I not like the single Morphe brushes. Anybody else notice that? Or is it just me? Okay, let me open these up. Okay, yeah. again, these are the brushes from the Complexion Crew set. We have, what is this brushes? It don't say. I just showed a picture. I thought I was going to be able to tell you, but no. I'm assuming this is just a fluffy blender brush. I would say this is a highlight contour brush, not highlight, a, a contour brush, contour bronzer maybe. This may be a highlight brush, the all these about complexion, right? And then I don't know, whatever you use your brushes for is your business, so I guess that's how Morphe feel too because they didn't put any names and these bristles are, bristles are really soft. So, yeah, I'm content. I'm happy. And I got this because it was on sale for $22. And I think it came out, or was it $19? This was a $35 uh, I Love Mystery Box during Christmas time. I know it was during Christmas time, but I'm cool with that. I didn't pay $35 for it. I'm just saying, y'all. And this is what it looks like here. And I already see something that I'm excited about. You know what I'm saying? I already, I'm already knowing that I'm a love them brushes. You feel me? Because <laughs> these brushes are $8 a piece. This $8, $16, $24 right here. So this is already my, um, I think it was $21. $21 or $22. This is already my $22. And I got uh, the M28. M428, I can't see. Can I see that? That's M428. And this one is the M531. And then the last, oh, it's a little, little small crease brush. 
And this is the M519. I keep on, I'm gonna have a whole set. These, I like these Morphe brushes way better than I like the, uh, what's her name? Y'all yeah, know them brushes I ordered from Beautylish. So extremely expensive. Yeah, I like these brushes better than those. I'm just saying. And then there's a pair of lashes in here, guys. This is, um, oh, luxurious. Y'all don't know about these. I don't know how to wear them. Look at them lashes. That might cover my whole eye look. Look at that girl. I don't know about them. We'll see. Luxurious. Ooh. Oh, check. Yeah. The last thing here is the bronzed mocha palette. Let's see what this looks like. This is, what is this? The 25B. Blend the rules. Let's see what this looks like. Probably a neutral bronze to mocha. Oh yeah, it's an all neutral palette. A pretty neutral looks. I'm not mad again. This is another palette that I could just take on my own. And y'all know what? Y'all know what for real? Just look, look at it. Kind of put me in the mind of that in the top. I mean, of that uh, uh, that new type of graph palette. The reds, you know, just the top two rows. A divine red rose. I ain't tripping, I'm just saying, y'all. Okay, all right. I done talked enough. That's the end of this video. If y'all made it to the end of this haul, I appreciate it. And I will not be coming back drowning y'all feet. I get that from Brandon. I didn't mean to say that. Drowning y'all time with hauls no more this month. I'm chilling on the house because I got to pay my taxes, y'all. I'm going to be on here talking on a GoFundMe page because they're going to take me to jail because I'm about too much makeup, y'all. I ain't paying my taxes. All right, y'all stay blessed. I hope y'all having a wonderful, beautiful Sunday afternoon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, YouTube.